Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL tutorial with Learn at NoStar. In today's video, we are going to discuss the differences between the not n and not exist clause in SQL Server. We are going to discuss three differences between them and we'll try to understand where we should be using each of these clauses. So let's get started. We are going to be working with two tables, table employee and table department. So you can see the table employee has some employee records with department ID assigned to them. And there's also a column called sub department ID, which we will be using later. The department table has a list of departments along with the related sub departments. So the first use case of not in where to use not in. Let's say you have a requirement wherein you want to find out all those employees which do not belong to a particular list of departments and you have no relation between the employee table and this department table for this query you have a hard-coded list of values so in that case you can only use a not in clause so we'll be writing a query like select employee id from table employee where department ID not in the list of values so let's say we want to find out all the employees which do not belong to department ID 2 as well as 3 so in that case we have only one option to use not in we cannot be using not exist in this scenario wherein we have a hard-coded list of values how the not in is going to work here is that it is going to check each employee ID record it is going to compare the department ID of that employee ID record with this list of values and if that department ID is not in this list of values it is going to return the boolean output of true and then we are going to get that record in the output now the second scenario is that we do not want to hard code this list of values we want to take this list of department ids from the department table so in that case we will just copy the same query and then i'm going to write the query instead of this hard coded list i'm going to create a sub query here so i'm going to say select department id from table department and I can frame the same uh, query using the not exist clause as well. So I'm just going to copy this. And instead of the not in here, what I have to say, I have to say not exist. And this is going to be a correlated subquery. And then we are going to um, join on the table employees department ID and table department department ID. So we are going to say where table department ID table department dot department id is equal to table employee dot department id so this is a correlated subquery because we are going to access the outer table from within the subquery so this is how we can frame the not exist class now do you think the output of these two queries would be the same Let's see. So I'm going to execute the not in query first. Let's first go back and look at the data in the query. So you can see you have got some records in the employee ID table, five records to be exact. They all have department IDs assigned to them, one, two, three, four, five. Going to the department table, I see that I get, I have four department IDs, so one, two, three, four. So five department ID does not exist. That is what we should be expecting in the output. We also have a null record in the department ID. Now this is where the whole difference will be seen. Now I'm going to execute the not in query and what is going to happen, let's see. I've executed the not in query. What I get in the output is an empty data set. Whereas what I was expecting is Employee ID 5, 1005, whose department ID 5 does not exist in the department ID table, but I haven't got that record. Let's try the not exist query now. So I'm going to go back to the not exist query, which is performing the same function. I'm going to execute this query, and there's an extra bracket over here. So let's execute the same query again and what we get in the output is what we expected we get the employee id 1005 who belongs to department id 5. now what has happened here why the norton is not able to return the correct rows it is 
because not in does not return the correct results if there is any null value in this list of values so even here in this query in the hard coded values if i include a null value and now try to execute this query what i would be getting is an empty data set so not in does not work with null values if you have null values returning in your hard coded list of values or from your subquery not in is not going to give you any result it is going to give you an empty data set so in those cases where you can expect a null value in your list of values you have to use the not exist clause the not in cannot be used if let's say your department id was a not nullable column so you're pretty sure that there cannot be any null values which we can also see uh, if we say where department id is not null then in that case your not in clause is going to return the same the correct output okay so it is going to re uh, return 1005 because it can work if the list of values does not contain any null value so you have to be careful when you use not in in these cases now which one to go for and which one not to go for in terms of performance so if we try to see the execution plan um it will be pretty similar i think so I'm just going to select this query and I'm going to say uh, display the execution plan. So this is execution plan. Uh, I see that there is a nested loop. So there's a left join which is costing 2% for the not in query. There's a 47% table scan for table employee, 52% cost of table scan for table department. So now I'm going to select this query and I'm going to display the estimated plan for this one, which is a different kind of plan, but the cost is almost the same. So performance wise, they look to be having the same cost. Uh, maybe there will be a difference when the volume is huge because we are working with very limited data. So maybe when the performance is huge you might see a difference over here but your sure shot indicator is that when you're expecting null values you have to go for not exist or uh, be very careful and specify this condition in your not in clause so this is the second scenario where you have you can decide whether to use not in or not exist based on what kind of data you have now the third scenario is let's go back to our data so we also have one more column called sub department id over here so now what i want is that i want all those employees whose either whose department id so i want to check on the uh, combination of department id and sub department ids who's this combination of department id and sub department id does not exist in the department table so now we are checking on two columns so multiple columns in those scenarios there's no way to frame a, a not in query because not in will only check on one particular column but you can go ahead and frame a not exist query so what you can do over here is includes include another condition where you will say table dot table department dot sub department id is equal to table employee dot sub department id so now it is going to check on the combination of department id and sub department id columns and it is going to output all those records which do not have the same combination existing in the department id column department table so you can see there are three uh, records 1002 3 and 5 if we go back we see 1002 is 2 and x whereas the combination is expected to be 2 and a so that is what has been output for 1003 it is 3 and a whereas the combination of department table is 3 and b and 5 does not exist altogether in the department table so that record has been output as well so when you want to check on multiple columns then again you need to go for the not exist 
loss. So these are the three scenarios which, uh, in which you should know whether to use not in or the not exist. I hope that you found this video useful. If you want to uh, view videos on further topics, please do post them in the comment section below. And if you like our videos, then please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be posting many more videos soon. Thanks a lot for watching.